Hello, I'm Jeff Reason and welcome to Battles of the Day. We are live from the 18th and 19th centuries, where a little man is trying to conquer the continent. It's Napoleon Bonaparte versus the rest of Europe. And if you like your tactical analysis served with a huge pile of dead people, I've got just the man. It's Jamie Castle. Jamie. This guy takes over the French army and immediately invades Italy, wins a stunning victory in Toulon, rises up the ranks, wins the loyalty of his troops. Is he mad? Brilliant, more like it, Jeff. A successful military general who took advantage of the chaos in the French Revolution. The French do love Napoleon, almost as much as Napoleon loves Napoleon. Yes, yes, that's Napoleon, right. Napoleon. Yes, yes, sir. Why are you slapping your men? <laughs> they love it. They love their great general, huh? Yes. Really? I am like Alexander the Great. In what way? I am great. No? Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. So confident. It's hard not to like him. He's got the banter, Jeff, but it's all about the results. We're hearing that the French naval fleet has been defeated by the British Admiral Horatio Nelson on the Nile. This setback's going to go down badly in France. Victory! Yeah! Why is everyone cheering? Oh, don't forget, I own the newspapers, yeah? So everyone back home is reading about victory! Victoire! Victoire! Besides, the government is in a much worse state in France, so that is why I've decided to come back, no? What, uh, to help? <laughs> no! To stage a coup d'etat! OK, let's go! Yes! Cheers, Mike. Cheers, everyone. Come on, guys. Oh, I'd love a coup d'etat. One sugar, please. No, Jeff. A coup d'etat is when you overthrow the government. When he gets home, he has the chance to seize power. I'm hearing in 1804 he's been crowned Emperor of France by himself. Real vote of confidence in Napoleon by Napoleon there, Jeff. Breaking battle news from Austerlitz, December 1805. Chris Steakhammer is on the scene. Chris. It's madness out here. Napoleon is everywhere. It's almost like he's moving his guns around really fast to make it look like he's got thousands of them. Oh, no, that, that's, exa that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> that's so Napoleon. I'm being shot at. <laughs> I'd love to know where the guns are going to pop up next. <laughs> Napoleon's really got the Russians on the run now. They're in full retreat. Surely just a case of damage limitation. Fast forward to 1812 and he's gone back for another bite of Mother Russia. Frostbite more like, Jeff. Cold with a capital crikey, most of my men are frozen to death. All very well dominating in sunnier climes. But how would Napoleon fare on a wet sub-zero Tuesday night? Surely this is too much even for the brilliant Napoleon. No way, Jeff! An unexploded shell just dropped right next to him and he didn't even stop. He's just riding straight over it. Only a madman can get that close to him. <laughs> hmm. I think my horse might be broken. Who do I need to invade to get the new horse? He's losing, and he doesn't even know it, Jeff. <laughs> I think I need another suit, Jeff. Defeat and exile to the Italian island of Elba for Napoleon. A new suit for Chris Steakarmer. Jamie, your thoughts? Single rested grey flannel every time, Jeff. Hello Paris, the first through the door Now everybody lift your jaws off the floor You act like you never seen your emperor before It's Napoleon and I'm back on the I've just escaped from exile on Elba Where they call me the cage monster They say I'm short and I got these lands But check out my massive mm. battle plan Yes, we got to go to war one more time against two Everybody, but don't worry, we'll be fine Just fighting to get back what's rightfully mine Which is everything I conquered the first time King Louis, whatever He ain't got nothing on me The greatest Frenchman ever Come to war with me French people, my subject, I brought you success. Women used to make me nervous, but in battle, I'm sick of it. It's my pituitary gland Or maybe my ego But I tell you what is true I'm a military genius in my eye I can barely ride a horse But not for what I'm trying I'd say it's not my sore bum But I would be lying So it's the British and the Dutch Oh, and the Prussian army But that's okay The Prussian need to spar me I'm pregnant with an elephant See what I mean But I really need to win Before they get on the scene Can't pray for rain to stop Don't believe in God If it carries on much longer We'll be stuck in the night I got a hundred days And I'm back up in this We're outnumbered, yes But we can't win this Sure, I'm a little bad
Our guest today had a series of major wars named after him. He was a general, an emperor. He is still the most famous Frenchman in history. Please welcome Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Napoleon, this is your reign. <laughs> oh, ciao, ciao. Grazie, ma, grazie, grazie. Oh. Wait till I tell my family about this. They go crazy, crazy they go. <laughs> uh, so, so, you're the French Emperor Napoleon? Oh, see, see, I am Napoleon. I'm the big chief, uh, in it. <laughs> but your, your accent, you sound kind of Italian. Ah, well, no, see, you notice that you're a smart boy. We get on good. Maybe we go for some pizza, maybe some pasta. You like the pasta? I was expecting you to be French. Now, see, see, I get that all the time. I'm from Corsica, in it. It's kind of near France, kind of near Italy. Well, whatever. Your achievements are beyond question. See? As a general, you defeated the Spanish, the Venetians, the Prussians, the Russians, the Austrians, just to name a few. So it's not surprising that so many important people wanted to join us tonight. So please welcome the King of Holland. <laughs> Oh, it's a uh, latest thing in the Hague. Uh, oh. no, no, hang, hang, hang on, hang on. You're supposed to be Dutch. How come you've got the same accent as him? He's my brother, isn't he? I conquer the countries and give him the crown. It's a birthday present. I can't buy him socks anymore. He's got the wool allergy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's bring out some more guests because this isn't a family reunion show. So please, can we welcome the King of Spain? Hey! The Duchess of Tuscany. Nino. The Queen of Naples, the Prince of Westphalia. Hang on. What? What, what, what's going on? Oh, no, these are all my brothers and sisters, isn't it? I conquer all the countries, so I give it to my family. This empire is a family business. All right, all right. Look, our last guest certainly isn't a family member. So no surprise on the accent here. Please welcome the greatest English general of his day, the Duke of Wellington. Top of the morning to you. And a fine day it is so. And, and if it's not, may I be sent straight to hell to live with all the little nasty leprechauns down there. Or my name's not Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington. You're Irish. Oh, it's so. Born and bred on the Emerald Isle, fiddly dee dee dee. So, so wait, let me get it straight. England's great general is actually Irish, and France's great emperor is actually Corsican. See? Napoleon Bonaparte, this is your very confusing reign. Oh, grazie, grazie, grazie. And take grazie. your hand out of your jacket, you look silly. Okay. You ask her for it? I was holding up my trousers, when I, bluff? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, Napoleon did always go round with his hands in his jacket, but it wasn't to hold up his trousers, no. It, it was to massage his stomach because he had crippling stomach pain, probably because someone had tried to poison him with arsenic. Well, either that or he'd eaten a dodgy snail. <laughs> Stuff they don't teach you at school 